Texas Governor Greg Abbott returns to the panhandle today. He's going to be getting an update on the wildfires. Uh, they have burned more than 1.2 million acres of land now. Yeah, meanwhile, a lawsuit blames a power company for the biggest fire. Fox 4's Paige Ellenberger here with the story. Good morning. Good morning. And the latest update on these fires is a good one. They're not rapidly growing thanks to more favorable weather and effort by firefighters from across the entire country. Now, containment for each fire has grown while the acreage burned has not. Governor Greg Abbott and the chief of the Divi Texas Division of Emergency Management are visiting the Panhandle at 11.30 this morning. It's the second visit for the governor since Friday. He, along with local officials, will give an update on suppression efforts. Now, this all comes as North Texans continue their support. Harlan Smith and a group of others loaded up trucks, trailers, and even a few semis with hay and supplies and took it to our neighbors to the west. He got emotional talking to Fox 4's Alex Boyer about the support they received when they arrived. Everyone's meeting everyone for the first time. This is a group of strangers. And uh, they just uh, stepped up. Stepped up, yeah, and excuse me. I watched uh, guys that, um, big burly guys uh, that just broke down. Meanwhile, a lawsuit filed on behalf of a Stinnett homeowner on Friday alleges that a downed power line is to blame for the largest fire. The lawsuit says three utility companies did not properly inspect or maintain a wooden pole that ended up snapping. Now, one of the companies, Excel Energy, responded to this claim and said in a statement that investigators are still working to determine an official cause. Brandon, Lauren.